story. I'm an American teacher and today I'm going to be showing you around the classroom here at Neva American International School. I'm very excited to bring you around with me, so let's go. Here is the section where the students play with different toys. We have toys to help them learn about the alphabet, numbers, colors, shapes, letters, we use puzzles and stuffed animals, lots of books. I really like how all of the toys here are displayed really nicely and the kids can see what they are and easily grab them and open them. Here we have the sensory bins. These are sands, different colored sands that the children can play with because this helps them um, use their senses, their sense of touch and feeling. The sand here is cold and it feels a little bit um, nicer than sand because it's not as rough and it doesn't scratch as much, it's softer. But it's really nice to play with. Over here we have the students um, works and it's compiled here inside their folders. Each student has their own folder and it's labeled with their picture and their name and they can put some of their best or some of their favorite works inside. Over here we have student notebooks that they can write in. Each student has their own notebook and this helps them practice their letters and shapes and also it helps with their fine motor skills developing those. This book is really helpful because as you can see the spacing is a lot wider and that allows them to make larger letters than the typical notebook. In every classroom we have an area where teachers can store their personal things like laptops, bags, books, containers. This is the teacher's personal space. We also have a resource area where teachers keep books, crafts, folders, pencils, markers. This just helps keep everything organized. We also have a safety emergency kit in every classroom. Inside there are bandages, face masks, hand sanitizer, wipes, anything that a student might need. Here we have more teacher resource cabinets. All of these cabinets are labeled. Each one has something different inside, but they're all labeled so the teachers know what's inside and it helps um, them be able to find the materials that they need a lot faster. The different materials will be used for different themes or different subjects that the children are learning. Maybe there's toys or crafts inside. Here we have student cubbies and students can store any of their personal belongings as well as their school supplies. Each student cubby is labeled with their name and their picture and inside they have face masks. They also have their own basket with their own toys that they use during playtime. They also have a basket with pencils, erasers, markers, anything that they need for crafts. This is one of the simple teaching tools that teachers use to demonstrate a theme. So for example, this is a car and it can be transformed into something else during a different theme that's being discussed or taught. So right now it's a car, but it can also be transformed into a bedroom window or if the theme is animals and oceans, it can be transformed into an aquarium with fish. And um, it's a nice visual for the little kids to be able to understand and grasp the idea. And here's the reading corner where students can come in the mornings or in the afternoons or during breaks. Whenever they have free time, if they finish their work early, they can come alone and read a book, sit and look at a book, or they can also come with their friends and um, look at books together. So here's a book about Elmo. This book is talking about colors and shapes and patterns. This is a really good visual book for little kids. This is our cleanup station. Um, the kids can come here and identify their toothbrushes. Each toothbrush has a name on it. After they've identified their toothbrush, they can be guided or independently go and brush their teeth, wash their hands, change their clothes, and start settling down and getting ready for nap time. Here, children have toothpaste and there's different flavors that children can choose between. This helps with their psychomotor skills because they learn to hold the toothpaste and squeeze and put the right amount on the toothbrush that they need. They can choose from a bunch of different flavors and each child gets their own tube of toothpaste that they get to keep. In each classroom, there's a built-in toilet and each toilet has a built-in safety seat and it's also a small toilet for a small human. Here they can also wash their hands in the small sink and dry their hands. It's really important to instill a sense of responsibility and they can learn how to develop the skills that they need in order to use the bathroom on their own while also being able to get the help that they need from a teacher if they need it. 
Here in the classrooms, all the tables are set up for the students um, according to the theme or according to what we're doing. The classrooms here are multi-purpose, so the tables and chairs can be moved if we're doing a circle time or if there's a different program going on. As you can see, the floor has different placements. This is so the children know their spots. Each children gets a circle and they can sit there for different activities that we have whenever the tables and chairs are moved. Each table and chair is also human size and they have their names and their pictures so they can easily identify which table belongs to them. Here in the classroom, this is a happy place. Students feel very at home here and safe and comfortable and relaxed. Learning doesn't just take place inside the classroom, we also extend it outdoors. Outdoor play is very important for children because it helps them to be able to explore different environments and have a different scenery. <laughs> it helps them to be able to get their energy out and helps them to be able to experience different environments, playing, touching, smelling, feeling. This one is mainly used for theme-based play. Children can come here for different activities or lessons that revolve around boats, water, toys and it's used for sensory play so children can feel the water and feel the toys and have an idea of what it's like to be on a boat with the ripples and the waves. Aside from sensory play, children also have the opportunity for free play. Here is the outside playground where children learn and facilitate different abilities such as um, sharing and waiting your turn, being patient. They build social skills, making friends with other children. Outdoor play is also monitored by the teachers and the TAs as well as the security cameras. All the facilities, outdoor and indoor, are equipped with security cameras to monitor and make sure the children are being safe. Everything that we do here supports our theme-based approach to learning. Throughout the year, the classroom evolves with different student work. The student's work is hung and used to decorate the classroom. The different themes can be seen and reflected in the student's work, and by the end of the year, the classroom has evolved into something beautiful and just full of life and energy from the students and the tasks that they've completed. I hope you had as much fun as I did on this virtual tour and I hope that you have a clear picture of the day-to-day -day life here at Neva American International School. If you're interested in booking a tour or coming and checking out the school, you can just call us at the number below and you can contact us on Facebook. Thank you! Bye!